Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a new brand that just launched, I believe about a week ago. It's called Ojai Beauty. They are exclusively to Urban Outfitters, so you can only get it from them. Uh, I have a couple products from them that I want to try out and see how they work for me because, you know, I need to try out the newest of the newest and let you guys know if it's worth your coin. So if you want to see my Ojai Beauty review, then just keep on watching. All right guys, so I am back. So I just, like I said, I got off camera to do my foundation and my concealer because we are gonna set the face and then I'm going to hop off camera again so I can finish up the rest of my face. So we are going to get into the Ojai, it's actually called Glass Powder. It's, this is Finishing Chuck, it's translucent and it's as light as air. And then this is what it looks like. Like I said, the packaging is super like minimalist. Kind of like how it is super duper cute so we're gonna look into it it has like a little puff thingy and then it just kind of opens up and then our product is inside so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to like get like underneath into my like i'm probably already creasing because i've kind of let this sit for just a second and then I'm probably not going to use a puff. I mean, the puff is like super soft. Like I like the way it feels, but I'm just going to use a beauty blender and then my brush and then kind of see what it looks like. I'm just like tapping it in. I mean, it definitely like smoothed out my skin. I wonder, this would be really awesome if it was like an actual like loose powder. Cause this actually feels very nice like it definitely smoothed out everything okay, so I'm, gonna get, I'm just gonna get my big powder brush and i'm just gonna like literally dunk it in and then we're just gonna like set the face and my skin looks like it looks smooth. All right, so I mean, this one was a, a really, a really good one. So I guess this is the it's called the glass powder from the Ojai Beauty. I'm definitely gonna keep trying this out. I'll kind of see. This would be like literally so adorable to kind of keep in your purse, like to kind of do touch ups to kind of like blot. Uh, I know, like you could probably get like a smaller like buffing brush to just kind of you know set your face a little bit throughout the day but like I said I have to do a couple errands later today so um I'll leave my update in the comments down below and make sure to check that out uh because like I said this is actually my face is looking it's looking smooth it's looking really good anyway so I will be right back in three two and one I'm back so Face is pretty much done. I just added some bronzer and just some blush real quick because we have highlighter and eyeshadow to get into. I'm really excited because this eyeshadow palette is freaking adorable. But this is the eyeshadow palette right here. Um, and then just the back just looks like that. So it just says, let your eyes shine brighter, warm, hyper pigmented shades to wear alone or blend together. So there is no mirror in here, so that's a little downfall because this might not be travel friendly for you, especially if, I mean, most things have mirrors. Honestly, the Marc Jacobs Tantastic, this guy right here, I literally took it everywhere with me if I travel because if, say, for this instance, if I don't have a mirror in something, I have this mirror and literally it is freaking huge. Like, this is perfect. Like, it's perfect. So anyway, so looking into the palette, like I said, we have pops of color, we have some pinky tones. It's, I would say overall, it's a very warm tone palette. So if you're a warm tone type of person, this would be definitely perfect for you. Like I said, you're gonna have those pops of color, you have your warm tones. I really like that pinky shade in there. It's very, very cute. Like I said, there is no mirror. And it just says treasure. And I believe that's what this palette is called. So I will do a couple swatches. I'm gonna do this gold shade. It's really pretty. So I'm just gonna do it right here so we can see it all. Like I said, very, very pretty. Let's do a matte shade. 
very, like I said, very pretty, very pigmented. Let's do this very orangey shade, brown terracotta shade that I'm definitely going to get into. Like, that is gorgeous. Very, very pretty. Like, it is really pretty. Let's see. I'm going to try against this purple with my thumb. Let's do it down here. I mean, that is gorgeous. Like, guys, that is freaking gorgeous. Whoo! This is... I'm actually, like, kind of excited because, like, sometimes with new brands, especially, like, I guess, like, Urban Outfitters isn't really a beauty company, so they're actually, like, clothing. So it's, like, when a clothing company comes out with makeup, sometimes they can be hit or misses, and then some people are, like, you know, stick to making clothing and just say making makeup and then like I said I'm just gonna do something really simple because we have mascara to play with and the mascara is so freaking cute and I have highlighters so I want to keep this like a really minimalist like even though I probably will like add like 20,000 colors but I'm not gonna do that in today's video that will be for another video so I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the color Anise and I cannot, I do not know what, but I'm going to go in with this color right here. Like I said, I think it's called Anise, that very warm ter terracotta shade. And I'm just going to go in with a Real Techniques little blending brush. So I'm just going to top it off. So like I said, this is going to be a really simple look. All right. Y'all see that color right there, right? This, this is actually really nice. I mean, like I said, this is like a really pretty color. Oh no! Crap, I should have cleaned this brush because I think it has black on it. I just put freaking black in my eye. Ugh! Let's double check. Yeah, I think there was black in it. Shoot. Because I was like wondering, I was like, why is it like disappearing? But it was because there was black in there. Like I said, this is just blending out so pretty. Oh my god. Like, I really like this color. Like I said, this is not really much of a, like, makeup tutorial. It's just, like, testing out the colors. So they might be a little bit different because there's a little bit of black in here. So this side right here, you're really going to see the vibrant and the, and the shade. I should have cleaned this brush, but you know what? It's okay. We're okay. We will live. I'm like so ready for fall guys, like I mean it's here, but in Georgia it is so freaking hot. Like I don't think, I don't think um, cooler-ish weather is not coming into like the like beginning, middle of October I think. I mean well, most places cool down like what, I know back home like in Texas like usually like that kind of like cold front that pushes through that makes all like the cooler weather, it usually happens like around Halloween. Or sometimes even sooner than that, but I know they're getting a ton of rain. All right, guys, but that is a gorgeous color. Like, let me tell y'all. I'm just gonna put either copper or cinnamon all over my lid. I'm gonna go in with copper. I just have it on my finger. I'm just gonna pack it on the lid. I'm literally just gonna pack this like literally all the way across. I mean, that's freaking gorgeous. That is really pretty. I think I might even add that like the cinnamon shade in my inner corner highlight. I go with that cinnamon shade and go on my inner corner. Guys, I mean, this is pretty like put some wing liner and lashes and you're all good to go. Like, I'm gonna like, swatch this, these little pinky shades because let's see. So that's oh, that one's pretty. That one's like a it's like a satiny finish, but it has like kind of like. Uh, luminosity and then oh my gosh that color is gorgeous okay guys I'm already just looking at it from right now you need this palette uh, verify the price real quick $24 guys this palette right here is $24 like wow but definitely y'all need to get this like this a plus so this right here is the mascara, so like I said, it's a mini mascara. Uh, I kind of already took a peek into it. So it's pink, my favorite color. It's like a salmon-y, pinky color-ish, but it just says, oh, hi, beauty, and it just says mini mascara. And then we'll go ahead and open it. So it just looks like that, very 
as what it says it says mini mascara uh, but for everyone that i'm like actually looking on here um all high beauty is vegan paraben free and then they do not test on animals for so for anyone who only use um a cruelty free makeup this is all of that i've never used like a really tiny wand like this um my go-to mascara is benefit roller lash guys like this made my lashes look really pretty that's mascara not mascara i would say this probably pretty much gives me what i do with the benefit so benefit you better watch out i feel like sometimes with mascaras like they're too chunky like they're too fat and i'm like i can't get in there where it's like you know little little places and especially my lower lash line like i love my when i do my mascara on my lower lash line it just like pops out the eye like guys like i'm really okay so far i'm loving the powder i'm loving the mascara we'll kind of see if it flakes off but it looks really good i love the eyeshadow so last we just have lips and highlighter so i'm gonna do lips real quick i got the shade self it's just a matte finish it's just like that pinky color so here is the applicator really big so we can really get into your lips i mean it's a pretty color all right so let's see how that sets down and we'll go ahead and get to our highlights all right so i kind of looked at this and i'm not sure how it's gonna set on the skin because when i looked in the pictures of what they had on urban outfitters a lot of their models had like no makeup really on them and i didn't realize that this highlighter was a dewy finish it's like that wet highlighter look and I'm like, mm, I'm not, I don't particularly say I don't like that look. I do when I'm not really wearing a, like, no makeup or very little, little makeup. And so we'll see how this goes. It may, I'm not sure if it will disturb the makeup underneath. And if it doesn't, that'd be great. Uh, but this is the Ohi Highlighter Little Duo. It's a duo of three. And I got the shade Gold Charge. So it comes with these three beautiful golden -y shades. It has a like really wet consistency. So I'm just a little like, do I have to like really get in there? Because like when I was seeing people doing swatches, they're like really like pretty swatches. So I'm just like a little confused as to like, what i needed to do to get that pigment so i was like well do i have to like take my finger in there like what do i have to do so i think what i might actually end up doing i might just like use uh, my finger on my beauty blender to kind of blend it out um and then kind of see how it sets okay so here are the highlighters we have like that really golden -y shade and then kind of two deeper shades uh the deeper shades probably not gonna work out for me because not that tanned um so those shades might be more better for like to put on top of the lid and this shade right here the lighter shade is probably the only one that's gonna work for me and i guess let's just go in and see what it does for me all right so let me get a little compact where are my compacts oh my god do it okay Oh, well, this is really pretty. Okay, let me get the beauty blender to kind of like mash it with the skin. Oh, this is really pretty. Okay, so this is would give you that very like wet look as the day goes on. Like, I'm just putting like a little bit of highlighter on. I always put highlight like right on top of my eyebrow, and then I'm just put a little on my nose. a little bit of a glow okay so I'm going to do it on this side I like squeezed oh no I got product in my finger okay I 
like if you really get that glitter like those gl like those microfine glitters like I think that's what kind of gives it that glow I think I got too much my like nail got stuck and I like rubbed it off and I think right here in the front there's a little bit too much glitter but it's okay nothing wrong with that like I said I'm just dipping my beauty blender like dipping it in oh I mean like I said this is like this is really pretty all right guys so I something happened to my camera and it somehow just like stopped when I was putting my highlighter on of course it just didn't want me to show you guys highlighter but this is it right here guys what do you guys think it's kind of has like that like I said a very wet consistent it has like that very like wet look on the face uh, I, those are not the type of highlighters that I particularly wear on an everyday today basis. It's just mainly just like powder highlighters. But I'm definitely here for this one. You can see like the little glitters in it. Um, I can't wait to see it, what it looks like in the actual sunlight during golden hour. And it just looks so pretty. But here are my final thoughts. So the face powder, definitely worth your buck. Um, this will definitely be going inside my purse and so I can kind of like keep it in my purse just in case if I need to um, blot touch up my face and plus it's super cute like who wouldn't want this in your purse or makeup bag second we have our eyeshadow palette so with the eyeshadow palette when it said hyperpigmented shades they meant hyperpigmented shades so like I said this guy right here is $24 and I mean for 10 shades that's a pretty good deal, I think. Um, so I loved all the shades. Uh, the only other say down part is that you do not have a mirror. So if you are, you know, you travel a lot, um, definitely you're gonna have to need a mirror because this guy does not have a mirror. The mascara, I love it. Uh, my lashes are looking beautiful and I'm not seeing any type of flakies on my skin. The lipstick is beautiful. And then the highlighters, like I said, I'm gonna play with this a little bit more and see how I can kind of play with it because these two dark, deeper shades, I'm not gonna be able to put on my cheeks. This was the only shade I could actually put on my cheek. But these two, I can kind of play around with, maybe do like on the top of my lids and play with it a little bit more. But those are my final thoughts, guys. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about Ohio Beauty because I think it's awesome. All right, guys, so that's it for this one. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Um, and give this video a big thumbs up for if you love Ohio Beauty and you love me. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next one. I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.